All right, Lynn, you are ready to go. Awesome. Hi, everyone. Can you guys give me some waves and some hellos? I can see you guys. Welcome. I am Lynn Lilly, and I'm so excited to be here every day this week with Crayola. And today, we are going to make some crafts with Model Magic. So who's a fan of Model Magic? You guys love it? Give me a thumbs up. Yeah, I see lots of thumbs up. All right, so we're gonna make two crafts today. We're gonna make rock animals. So hopefully some of you guys went out and gathered some rocks from your yard. If not, send mom out right now to go grab some rocks. And then we're gonna make pencil toppers and we're gonna make a really cool pot to keep those pencils and pencil toppers in. So we're gonna start first on our rock animals and we're gonna do the painting part first and then let it dry. So you've got your rocks, right guys? Everyone's got some rocks, so show me your rocks. You got your rocks, I see them. All right, so for our first step, we're going to use paint. Now I'm gonna be using Crayola acrylic paint. You can also use Crayola washable paint as well. Um, if you use your washable paint, just keep in mind, you may need to do a couple coats. But we're going to start off and we're going to make a turtle and a snail. So we've got two rocks handy. Do we got a question? Remind everybody who they can ask questions to. Yes. Okay. So if you guys have questions as I go through this, where you need me to slow down or repeat a step, you'll see the name Rosanna. So Rosanna is sitting in this room with me. You can ask questions to her and she'll call those out and stop me to answer those questions. So send all your questions to Rosanna. All right, so we got our rocks. We're using either acrylic Crayola paint or our washable Crayola paint. So my acrylic paint just has blue and yellow in it. So if some of you don't have green paint, what two colors make green? You guys know? Blue and yellow. So we're gonna mix together some blue and yellow, and we're gonna make our own green paint. So start by just putting some of our yellow and our blue, and you wanna grab a paintbrush, and we wanna swirl those together. So you can start with equal parts until you get the green color that you want. All right, so keep mixing those around until you get your green. All right, how's everyone doing on mixing their paint? All right, okay, so we got our green color and you may need to add a little more or a little less um, together to get your green. And then we're also gonna use red. So the green's gonna be for our turtle. And then the red is going to be the shell of our snail. Now you don't have to use red. You can pick whichever color you want. So. I'll let you guys decide what color you want your shell to be, but I'm going to put some red out on my paper plate. So I'm going to start with my largest rock, and that one is going to be my turtle shell. So I'm going to take my green paint that I just mixed up, and I'm going to paint my shell. So I've got a paper plate that my rocks are sitting on. You can put them on a paper towel and some newspaper, but just put something down because I don't want your parents to get mad at me if you get paint on the table. So just make sure that your surface is covered. So go ahead and paint that rock green. Now, since we're using the acrylic paint, you'll see it goes on really well. So if you do use the washable paint, um, you may be able to see through it a little bit. That's okay. And if you don't want to see through it, just add another coat of paint. All right. So we got some green rocks. It looks like you guys are doing good. All right, so we're gonna take a second paintbrush and we're gonna take our red paint and we've got that second rock that's gonna be our snail. So we're gonna paint that rock red or whichever color you guys chose. And as a reminder, if you just jumped in, you can ask Rosanna any questions. So if you see Rosanna's name there in the chat, send all of your questions to her. And we're getting started on our rock animals first. So for this, we got two rocks that we found outside and we're painting them. All right, how are we doing? Give me a thumbs up if you guys have got them painted. We got some thumbs up, we still painting? All right, I'm gonna give you guys a few minutes to keep painting. And here's the deal. You can really get away with just painting the top, okay? That's it. You can just paint the top of your rocks. You don't have to worry about painting the bottom. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to let our rocks dry and they should be dry by the time we get to them in the video. So go ahead and take your paint brushes. You can put them aside or you can give them to a parent, wash them off um, so that you can reuse them. So once we get our rocks painted, we're going to just set those guys aside to dry. Now, while those dry, before we come back to making our rock animals, we're going to make some pencil toppers, okay? So put your paints away. Go ahead and put your lids on them so you save them. And we'll set those aside. All right, so who's got their model magic? I've got a whole bunch of different colors that you guys can see here. Now, if you don't have different colors of Model Magic and you just have white, I've got a little trick for you. So we're gonna start with that first. Um, so that if you guys only have white Model Magic, what I want you to do is take some of your white and take one of your Crayola markers. So it can be the classic markers or the washable ones and whatever color you want. So say we want green, okay? We're going to color our white model magic. You guys can see that? We're just gonna add some green. So we're gonna color that, okay? And then instead of touching it, we're gonna fold it over like that, okay? And then we're gonna knead it in and out, okay? So just keep kneading it and keep adding color and you'll see it starts to turn whatever color you want. So just go ahead and start adding in more color and then fold it over, okay? So that's how you kind of can dye any of the colors that you want. So you just add that color to it and keep kind of folding it in your hands and you'll see that it starts to turn green. All right, so how are we doing guys? So those of you that need to pick out your colors, so remember, we're making a turtle. So we're gonna wanna grab some green. If you've got your green model magic, grab that. If not, use a marker and dye your white model magic. Um, and then we're going to make our snail. You can choose to make your snail body any color that you want, okay? So I've got a variety here. So I'm gonna start, um, with those colors and set those aside, okay? So we're going to make some feet for our turtle and some spots. So get some green, and maybe get some yellow, okay? All right, so I'm gonna slow down a little bit so you guys can get out your model magic, okay? And you know what, if you need a second, just knead it in your hand. It feels really good, guys. All right, so for our turtle, we wanna make some spots for the back. So pull off, a little piece and we're just gonna roll it in our hand, okay? We're just gonna roll it until we get a ball. I'll hold it up so you guys can see it more. So use your fingers to just roll it in the palm of your hand and then we're gonna flatten it with our finger, okay? And I'm gonna shape it and then we're gonna do this a whole bunch more times so you guys are gonna see it in just a second. Yes, we got a question. Um, is there a substitute for model magic? Yeah, so if you don't have model magic, you can really use any type of dough clay. You can also use air dry clay and you can do the same thing if it's a white air dry clay and color it with your markers. All right, so we made just a little kind of teardrop rounded shape. So we're gonna make about five more of these. So pinch off another piece and these are gonna be the spots on the back of our turtle's back. So we're rolling it out in the palm of our hand using our fingers to get a circle. And then we take our finger and we smush it, okay? And then we can kind of shape it as we want to be a round kind of oblong oval shape. And they don't have to all match, right? Because what we know with animals in the wild is not everything's the same, right? So if there's a turtle that's got lines and spots on his back, they're all kind of different. So we're gonna roll this around again in the palm of our hand. We're gonna smush it and we're gonna shape it to make another spot, all right? So we're gonna make a total of six of those. And as you get them done, just lay them down on your table 
pull off another piece, roll it in your hand. So I'm just doing the same thing over and over again. And we're gonna shape it after we smush it. And remember guys, if you do have more questions, send those to Rosanna. We're gonna make two more. Okay, so we're gonna roll these around in our hand. Okay, that, we're gonna smush it. And then we turn it into kind of an oval teardrop shape or you can make yours rounded. You can make your spots whatever shape you want. All right, so now we're gonna do our last one. Rolling it in a ball, okay? And then we use our finger and we smush it. And the great part about Model Magic, guys, is that it will dry just by sitting out in the air or you can put it back in a zip top bag or the container and you can reuse it and play with it again. All right, so we've got all of our spots. You guys got your spots? Let me see them. Hold them up so I can see them. All right, got your spots. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make our head and our legs of our turtle. So I'm gonna use my yellow. You can pick whatever color you want. Guys, this is your turtle. It can be a make little turtle. It can have pink head and legs, you know, whatever color you want. So we're gonna pull off a piece. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll it again. So you'll notice when we do this, we start by rolling it into a ball. So I always use the palm of my hand and I kind of go from there after I get it in a ball. So this is gonna be our head. So you see, we've got our ball. You guys can get an idea of how big it is. And then we're gonna take the end and we're gonna pinch it. So what I did was I pinched that in between my fingers, okay? That's gonna be the neck of our turtle. And that part is what's gonna attach to our rock. Okay, so you can see the head. We'll do it again so you guys can see it again. I'll make another one. So we start and we roll it in a ball. Always start by rolling it in a ball, okay? And then we're gonna take our ball and we're gonna pinch it right at the end there. And that's gonna pinch off what's gonna be the neck of our turtle. All right, how you guys doing? Can I get a thumbs up if we're doing good? Yeah, all right, I see lots of thumbs up. Thanks, guys. All right, so we've got our head. Now, what else does a turtle have? A turtle has legs, right, that go out to its feet, and it has a tail. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our legs. So again, we're gonna pull off a piece of our model magic. What do we always do? We start by making it a ball in the palm of our hand. We're gonna to need to do this four times to make our legs. You guys can see that ball. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it between our two fingers and we're gonna squeeze it just a little bit. And we're also gonna squeeze it from the top, okay? So we're gonna squeeze it from the top and the sides. Okay, so it turns into a rectangle almost that's smushed on each side. And just like we did with the head, we're gonna take the end, we're gonna pinch it. That's gonna be the part that attaches to our rock. Okay, so we're gonna do that three more times so you guys can see it again. So we're gonna start by pulling off a piece of our model magic. We start with the palm of our hand and we roll, right? We roll, we could start a song. We roll, we roll, we roll. I can't sing guys, but I bet you guys can. I bet you guys can make a song for it. So we have that ball in our hand. We take our two fingers and we smush, right? Two fingers and we smush. And then we take our two other fingers and we smush that way too. Okay, so it becomes what is like a rectangle and it's smushed on all the sides. All right, so now we've got two legs, but remember, what do we do at the end? We pinch it just a little bit at the end. We pinch it so that we have a place to attach it to our rock. All right, so we gotta make two more. So let's start with our third one. And we're going to roll it. So we get that ball. And then we hold it in our two fingers. And we squeeze. And then we squeeze from the sides. All right. And then what do we do at the end? We pinch it right there. So you guys can all get a close up. 
front, we pinch it. So you see that end pinched right there. All right, we've got one more to make. I'm gonna pull off another little piece of my yellow. And we start by rolling it in the palm of our hand into a ball. And then we pinch it in between our two fingers and then we bring our other two fingers to the side and we pinch it again, okay? And then at the end, boop, and that's what's gonna attach to our rock. All right, so we've got all of the pieces that we need for our turtle. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set those aside while we wait for our green rock to dry. So we're gonna go ahead and set our head and our legs and our spots aside till we wait for that green rock to dry. So we're gonna get to that at the end and we'll add all those pieces on. All right, so now remember, we painted a second rock that is going to be a snail. So what color are you guys gonna make the body of your snail. I chose red for the shell of my snail. So I'm gonna use some purple and I'm gonna make the body of my snail purple. I wanna see what color are you guys gonna use. So hold up that color for me so I can see it. All right, we got lots of fun colors out there. So I wanna see what color you guys are going to choose. All right, I see it guys, cool. All right, we got some fun colors. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll again. Remember, we always start by rolling a big ball of our clay. So we're gonna roll it in a ball between our hands. Okay, roll. And then after we get our ball, show you guys the size. Got there, you can kind of see how it fits in the palm of our hand. Now, if you're using a bigger rock, you might need to start with a bigger circle. So if you've got a bigger rock, add a little bit more clay and make your ball a little bit bigger. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by putting it between two of our fingers, so our index finger and our thumb, and we're gonna squish it, okay? And then we're gonna squish it again from the side. And we're gonna keep squishing it until it starts to get wider and that circle starts to flatten, okay? So it kind of looks like this now, right? So we're starting to form what is gonna be the body of our snail, all right? So we're squishing it, let me move it closer so you guys can see it from the front camera. All right, so then what we're going to do is we're gonna to start to bend up the front, all right? So we've got our front guy, that's gonna be our head. So as you start to bend it up the front, you wanna just kind of pull it out, use your fingers to pull it out, and you're gonna to start to see that head form in the front right there. And that rock is going to sit right there, so your shell's gonna sit in the center. So we wanna curve it, and then we gotta make a tail for our snail, right? So we wanna point our snail tail at the end, just like that. So he's got a little pointy tail, and we wanna curve it up. So when that rock dries, our shell's gonna sit right there. And then let's make our snail have some ears, because you know those snails have those cute ears. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pinch right here, and right here to get some ears, right? And then we can kind of form his head a little bit, but if we pinch up like that, just like that, we get the head of our snail. All right, let me see it, guys. How are we doing? We got our snail bodies, I see some of them there. All right, how are we doing? Got our snails, okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to let this sit for a little bit, okay, while our rock dries. All right, so, and we've got one more piece to make for our turtle, I just remembered. We're gonna make our turtle tail. We almost forgot our turtle tail. So grab some more of that yellow and make it into a ball. All right, so make that ball for me. We almost forgot that tail. That's an important part of the turtle, right guys? So make your ball, and we're gonna kinda do the almost exact same thing we did for the feet. So we're gonna put it between our index and our thumb, we're gonna squish it. And then we're gonna squish it from the top, too. So we get that same shape 
that we had for our legs, but we're gonna take the end and we're gonna make it a point. So go ahead and just pull out that end to make it a point. And then don't forget, what do we always do at the end? We pinch it. So we have a space to attach it to our rock. All right, so now we're going to set all of our pieces down to dry. And what you may wanna do, so take your snail and instead of sitting him straight up, set him to the side and make sure he's curled on the side there so that he can start to dry and we can put our rock in then. All right, so we got a few more minutes for our rocks to dry. Keep your model magic out because we're gonna make some pencil toppers. So does everyone have a pencil? You can use a regular pencil or you can use a colored pencil. So everyone grab a pencil. We need to have a pencil out for our next step. Right, everyone's got their pencils. Show me your pencil. I wanna see what kind of pencil you guys have. All right, let's see that pencil color. And don't forget guys, if you've got questions as we move through, ask those to Rosanna. You should see her in the chat. Um, but let's start to make a flower. So pick out what color you want your flower to be. So we've got all kinds of colors here. I'm gonna make my flower purple. I like the color purple, it's one of my favorite colors. All right, so grab out a big piece of whatever color you decide to use for your flower. So we're gonna make our flower petals first. Show me what color, guys. I wanna see what color. Show me your colors. All right, we got some white, we got some green. I see some yellow out there. Oh, I, all right, I see some blue, cool. All right, so what we're gonna do is you should grab a big piece. We're gonna pinch off a little piece. And what do we always do? The same thing. We're gonna make that ball. So in the palm of your hand, go ahead and make that ball. So roll it around in the palm of your hand. Then we're gonna flatten it just a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna flatten it. And again, we're gonna do the same thing like we were doing with our turtle legs. So it flattens. And then for our petal, we're going to point the end. So like when we made our tail, we made that point at the end and we're gonna keep the other part rounded. All right, so we've got one petal. Bring this up so you guys can see it. Now we've gotta make quite a few more petals. So we're gonna make six total. So we're gonna do that same thing again. So if you missed it, we're gonna do the same exact technique again. We're gonna start and we're gonna roll it in the palm of our hand, okay? And then we're gonna squish it. Our two fingers and we're gonna squish it. Two other fingers, right? So we squish it. And then we use the end of our finger to slightly bring it to a point, okay? And we make sure that we keep that other side nice and rounded. All right, so we've got two petals so far. Now, as we get our petals together, we wanna to start to put them together like a flower. So at those points, we'll join them together. And we'll just kind of start to use our fingers to slightly smush them together. All right, we got some more to make. So pull off another piece. And we're gonna roll it in a ball again, right? And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna smush it with our two fingers right there. And we're gonna take our other two fingers, smush it from the top. Okay, and then, as you see, we got the shape. We use two of our fingers to bring it to a point, the end. We make sure that our top stays nice and rounded. And then we're gonna take this one and we're gonna join it with our other ones. Let's go ahead and join them together. You can see we've got half of our flower made so far. All right, so we're gonna do this again. We got three more to make. Let's go ahead and start. Roll it in a ball. Same thing again. And then once you've got your ball, we take our two fingers and we squish it. Two fingers on top and we squish it down, okay? And then we use our two fingers. Think of them like your claws, right? Take your two little claws like you're a crab and squeeze that at the end there to make it a point, making sure that our top stays rounded. And then we come and we get the flower and we add it on. 
All right, so we are starting to see our flower and we're going to need to make two more, all right? So take another piece, you may need to pull out some more of your model magic. So we'll take about half of that, we roll it in a ball, and then we squish it, okay? Squish it with two fingers, and then we squish it with the top. So both ways. And then we take our two little crab claws and we squeeze a point at the end and make sure our other side stays nice and rounded. We take our flower and we smush it in there. All right, so we're gonna make one more to complete our flower. So last one, go ahead and roll it in a ball. You guys should be able to make lots of flowers by the time we're done with this. All right, so once we get it rolled in a ball, Squish it between our two fingers and then we squish it again. And then we use our two little claws, our crab claws, and we squeeze it to a point and we make sure that our end stays rounded. And we're gonna add this in as our last flower petal. We're gonna kind of squish them all together, make sure that they stick. And it's okay, you'll see our center looks a little uneven, but we're gonna fix that in just a second. All right, so we've got our flower. Let me see your flowers, guys. Hold them up to the camera. I wanna see them. Let's see what you guys are doing, and I wanna see all the colors. Oh, guys, they look so good. I see some pink, I see some yellow, I see some red. You guys are doing awesome. I love it, guys. All right, so now we're gonna set that guy down for a second. And I want you to pick out a color for the center of your flower. So I'm gonna use yellow. We don't need a lot, so just pull off a little piece and we're gonna roll it. Remember, we always start with rolling it into a circle, okay? And then we're gonna smush it. So take your index finger on your palm and we're gonna smush it down, okay? So it's gonna look like a flat oval. See it? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our flower and we're gonna put it up, oh, get you right there, okay? We're gonna put it right in the center of our flower and we're gonna lightly press it down so that we have a center, okay? How about that? All right, so I think we should make some leaves for our flower, what do you guys think? So we've got some green left over from our turtle so let's pull off a piece. What do we do? We start and we roll it in a ball, okay? And you'll notice we do a lot of the same technique. So we squeeze it again. We use our top fingers to squeeze it. And then I want my leaf to be pointed. So I'm gonna point that just like I did with my flower, okay? And then I'm gonna lightly just press down the other side. So we've got one side that's pointed and then we lightly press down that other side. And then we're gonna take our flower and we're gonna put it right there in between our petals. We're gonna lightly push it down so it sticks to the back. And we've got a leaf that's sticking out the side. Do you see it? All right, so we're gonna do that one more time so you guys can see how to do it. We're gonna make one more leaf on our flower. So again, we're gonna start, we're gonna roll it in a ball. Okay, that. We're gonna take our two fingers and we're gonna pinch it. And we're gonna take our other two fingers and we're gonna pinch it again. And then we're gonna take our two little crab claws and we're gonna bring it to a point, okay? So we want our leaf to be pointed and then we're gonna take these two crab claws and we're gonna pinch that down so we got a little flat part that we can use to connect it. All right, so we're gonna get our flower again. We're gonna make our other leaf go right on the other side of it. And we're gonna lightly just push that down on the back there. All right, so now we've got our flower. How about we decorate it before we put it on our pencil? So you can, you can use markers for this. You can also use glitter glue. So glitter glue is one of my favorites. So Crayola makes these really awesome glitter glues. If parents, if you're watching, these will be your favorite. I use these with my daughter all the time. All right, so take if you've got glitter glue, or you can also use markers to draw on here, but 
I'm gonna just add some fun little flair. Maybe I add a little line. We've used a lot of our glitter glue in our house. So I'm gonna add just a little line to my leaf on each side. And then I'm gonna take a second color and I'm gonna add a little pattern in the front. So maybe I pick red, pick whatever colors you want, or you can also draw on it with markers if you only have markers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna maybe do, let's see if I can do a little swirl around. All right, so I'm doing a swirl in the center of my flower. All right, I'm gonna give you guys a second. While you got Rosanna, do we have any questions? I uh, know we're all good. All right, guys, so I'm gonna give you a second and then I want you to show me what your flowers look like. So we can see them before we attach them to the pencil. I want to see them, hold them up, guys. All right, let's see, hold up those flowers. <gasps> Good job, guys. You all, oh, you guys are doing such a good job. All right, I see those flowers. I see some green ones. Good job, guys. Ooh, I see a pink one with yellow. I really like that. All right, so we got our pencil. We got to attach it to our pencil, right? So let's get our pencil. And you can pull whatever color piece of model magic that you have. So I got some purple handy. So you pull whatever piece you have. And what are we gonna do again? We're gonna roll it into a ball. So grab a chunk of it, roll it into a ball. And what we're gonna do, so we got it in our ball. Get you guys a second to roll it into a ball. The ball doesn't have to be perfect, okay? We're gonna take our pencil, we're gonna take our ball, and we're gonna smush it right down onto our pencil, okay? We're gonna kind of flatten it out. So as we get it on our pencil, we're gonna flatten that guy out. So he kind of looks like he's been a smooshed circle, okay? And now what we wanna do, we could put our flower to it, but so we have some extra security, we're gonna take some of our Crayola washable glue and we're gonna put some of our glue on our little smushed circle on our pencil. Okay, so we wanna put some glue right there. Let you guys get to that. So we're gonna put some glue on the end. And then what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take our flower that we just made and we're going to put it on where we just put our glue and we're gonna lightly push it. Don't wanna push too hard, all right? And so we wanna let it dry a smidge before we use it, but you guys can kinda of see how it's attached to our pencil. Now, you can make all sorts of other things with this too, guys, and you can make a bunch of different flowers. All right, so who's got them on their pencil? Let me see it. Hold it up, guys. I wanna see what it looks like. All right. So check this one out. You guys are doing such a good job. So I've got another one here. I made a pink and a yellow one. I see a blue one out there. Awesome, guys. All right, so you can have fun doing whatever you want on these pencil toppers. So maybe you make some animals right? You can make some more flowers, but you can make a whole patch of flowers. All right, so what do we keep our pencils in? We're going to show you something really cool. It's going to be our last project before we get back to making our animal rocks. So go ahead and set this aside so it dries, because we want to let it dry a little bit more before we use that pencil. So go ahead and lay it down. We're going to do something fun with paint. So now keep in mind, this might get a little bit messy, guys. So we're gonna set all of our model magic aside. And we're going to use a terracotta pot. So any pot will do. You could do this on a metal pot, a plastic pot if you've got it, but this is a terracotta pot, all right? So you've got your terracotta pot and we wanna make sure that we have something to cover our surface, okay? So whether it's a plate, parents maybe grab some newspaper, 
but we're gonna get messy. We're gonna paint pour over this pot. So make sure that we have something on there. Now I'm gonna be using my Crayola washable paints and I'm gonna choose to do a green. So I'm gonna do a dark green and a light green. So we're just using our Crayola washable paints. You guys can pick any colors that you want. But since I wanna do two tones of green, I'm gonna show you how to make that lighter color. So maybe you choose red and you do red and pink. Um, maybe you choose orange, you wanna do a darker orange and a lighter orange. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we're gonna start by pouring in a plastic cup and we're gonna just have one cup with our regular color green, okay? We're gonna get back to that in a second, but let's mix our lighter color green. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour that same green, pour a little bit in the bottom of the cup, and we're gonna take white. White is the key agent that's going to make whatever color we choose a little lighter. So we're gonna pour a little bit of white in there and start with a little bit first, and then you can always add more. Now you can take a popsicle stick or you can take a spoon, a plastic spoon, anything you've got that can help you mix it. Now I'm using washable paint, but you can also use acrylic paint as well. So whatever you have, so washable or acrylic will work. And then I decided I wanna add just a little bit more white. So just keep mixing until you get that color that you want. So that's the fun part about paint you can mix them to get the colors that you want. So I'm mixing this guy up and you can kind of see his light green color that's coming out. And I'm gonna add just a smidge more white and I'll give you guys some more time to keep mixing. Yes, we've got a question. Can they use a plastic cup if they don't have a pot? So I would recommend not using a plastic cup because the paint won't dry to it. So I would either use a heavy duty plastic pot, these kind of cups, aren't thick enough and the paint will just kind of run off of it and won't dry. So either use a terracotta pot, a metal pot, or that heavy, thick plastic that would be an actual like pot that you would use to plant. All right, so we're mixing this color up and then if you want, you can add in some glitter. So if you've got some glitter handy, you can add in some glitter, but you don't have to. So I'm gonna add the glitter in with my lighter green and I'm gonna put a lot of glitter in there because I want it to sparkle, but you don't have to use glitter. That's just an added option. And we're gonna mix it in to our paint and we'll add just a little bit more. All right, so now what we need to do is when we do paint pours, we've gotta water down our paint so it's thinner because when we pour it, we want it to run down our pot. So we're gonna take a tablespoon. We're gonna do about half a tablespoon of water into each one of our cups, okay? So about half a tablespoon. And we wanna use either our popsicle stick or if we're using a plastic spoon, and we wanna mix it up. So we mix in that water, okay? And you'll notice that our paint gets really thin as we do that. So that's the key to this. We want it to be thin. You guys can see so how thin it is it becomes nice and runny, right? So that means it's gonna drip really nicely down our pot. All right, so we've got our paints mixed up. I'm gonna give you guys a second to get those mixed. And you'll notice if you are using a terracotta pot, there's a hole in the top, right? Because typically you put a plant in here and that's a hole for the water to drain out. But we don't want the paint to seep inside that hole on the inside of our pot. So just take a piece of tape and put a piece of tape over the hole of that pot, okay? We wanna cover up that hole of that pot. Now remember, just make sure that your tape doesn't stretch over the edge, and if it does, just kinda of curl it back a little bit. We're not gonna see the bottom when we're done, so it's okay if there's a big empty non-painted spot there. All right, so who's ready? Are we ready to paint pour? Can I get my thumbs up? Is our paint mixed? If we've got a thumbs up, Let's see it, so I know if we're ready to move on. If not, keep mixing your paints until you get them ready. All right, so remember, we gotta put our pot on a plate or a piece of newspaper or something because this paint is going to run. So now what we do is we're gonna take each one of our cups and all we're gonna do is we're gonna pour. 
So let our paint come out. And what we want to do is pour it on the edge so that it runs over and just move your cup around the edge of the pot. And you'll see it's going to start to drip down. So start with your first color and then you can come back with your second color and do the same thing. So we want to let it drip all the way around and you can save some of your first color if you want to come back and add some more. And now I picked two colors. You could do this with just one or you could do it with two or three or four. So it's up to you how many you want to do. Now, keep in mind, kiddos, this is going to take a little while to dry. So go ahead and put it somewhere where the paint can continue to drip down. And you can let it dry overnight. So check out what it looks like once it's dry. We're going to put our pencils inside of here. And I'm going to show you a trick on how to get them to stand up. All right, so go ahead, parents, help your kiddos. Let's move this to the side so that it can dry. And now once your pot is dry, one little trick that you can do is you can take some extra of your model magic and you can put it, so take some extra and put it in the bottom of your pot. So and smooth it out around the bottom. So fill the bottom of your pot with the model magic. And then what you can do is while it's still moldable, so before it dries, take a pencil, and this doesn't have to be your pencil with your pencil chopper, this can be any pencil, and use a pencil to poke some holes where you would want your pencils to sit. So use that pencil and poke some holes in there. And then once it's nice and dry, it's gonna hold your pencil straight up. So let me show you what it looks like. Even when it's a little wet, we can still add our pencils in and create the perfect pencil holder. So we're gonna put our pencils in there, just like that. And you can have fun. I actually made a snail too. I'm gonna to show you guys a snail. So I made a snail pencil topper to show you that you can make any animals or anything that you want. And if we can get a front view of this, you guys can see, there we go, how it looks inside your vase. So put your pencils in there and then you can easily take them in and out when you wanna use them. All right, let me see it guys. Let me see those pencils one more time before we move back to our rocks. Let's see those pencils. Yeah, good job guys. Thumbs up to all of you. You guys are, did such a good job. Who's ready to finish their rock animals? Who's ready? Say me, put your hands up in the air. Who's ready to finish your rock animals? All right, so by now, our rocks are dry. So grab your two rocks, they're pretty dry. If they're still a little wet, just take a paper towel. And any of the parts that are still wet, you can kind of just wipe it until you get dry. But for the most part, your rock on the top should be pretty dry, all right? Now, we're gonna start with our turtle. So remember, we made all those pieces for our turtle. So let's bring all of our pieces back in. We've got our legs, we've got our tail. Let's bring them all back in. Remember, we've got our spots for our turtle's back. So let's bring all those pieces back over here. All right, so don't forget, remember we made that turtle's tail. I almost forgot that turtle's tail, guys. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue these to our rock. So grab your glue. So we've got our Crayola washable glue. So grab your glue and we're gonna start with our head. So what we wanna do is we wanna take that little part that we pinched on the end and we wanna put some glue on that. So add a little bit of glue to the end there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our rock and we're gonna push that end, that piece that we just glued, onto our rock. So you can kind of see how it's sitting on the back. And that glue is gonna help it stay in place. All right, so now that's our head. We're gonna do the same thing with our legs and our tail. So let's start with our legs. Remember, so that pinched part, 
that we pinch, the flat part of the pinch is what's going to go on the glue. So we're gonna put the glue on that part, okay? And we wanna go ahead and put our leg right there, okay? And you're probably gonna to need to kind of keep this down on your table so that um, it takes a second for the glue to set. And you'll see mine isn't quite dry yet. So if you get some green on your hands, go ahead and wash that off. What we're gonna do is we're gonna glue all four of our legs on. So we're doing the same thing, putting our glue on the end, that little side that we pinched, and we're adding each one of our legs, okay? And then we're gonna do the same thing on the last one. And we're gonna put that guy right here. All right, so let me hold this up so you can kind of see, you wanna kind of keep him on the plate until he starts to dry. So last thing we gotta do is add our tail. So remember our tail is the piece that's pointed and we're gonna take our glue and we're gonna put a little bit of glue right on the end, okay? We're gonna take that and we're gonna glue it right opposite of the head. So check it out. All right, now it's time to glue on the spots that we need, okay? So we've got all of our spots and we wanna glue those on the back. You can glue them on in whatever pattern you want. Whoops. Just take um, one of your spots, start with it by putting some glue on the back and glue it to the back of your turtle. So this adds some really fun dimension and character. And maybe you guys picked a different color for your spots. And we're just putting glue on the back of all of our spots, okay? And we're adding those to the back of our turtle. Glue on the back. And we've got two more to glue on. So we're gonna put some more glue on the back of this one. And then we're gonna glue it on. We've got one more. And then our turtle is almost done. So we're gonna glue back of the last spot. Put this guy here. Okay, so now what you can do is take a marker. Or I've got some of the fun Crayola metallic markers or you can use any of these markers and we're going to add a face. So I'm going to just take one of my markers and I'm going to take my turtle head and keep in mind, you want to try and keep them on the plate. So hold them up, face them towards you and just add some eyes and maybe a little mouth. Give him a face and then you can also give him some claws too if you want to do some claws on his feet, you can do that as well. And then we really need to let him dry before we play with him. So check out what he looks like once he's dry. So before you let him, before you play with him, let him dry. I'll hold it up to this camera. And I wanna see, can you guys hold it up? Even if he's on your plate, I wanna see what he looks like. Let me see your turtles, guys. All right, we've got some fun turtles out there. I'm excited to see how you guys play with these. All right, so make sure you let him dry for a few hours before you play with him. All right, you guys ready for the last one? We've got one more. We've got to finish our snail. All right, so remember, we made our snail body and then we painted our red rock. You guys remember that red rock we painted at the beginning? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start first and we're gonna draw a swirl on our rock. So take one of your markers and, all right, do, up here so you guys can see it. We're gonna draw a swirl. So that's gonna make our snail shell. And you don't have to draw a swirl, you can draw whatever you want. Okay, so give you a second to draw it. Right, and as you guys, if you're crafting and you got some questions even about the products we're using, parents, or any questions or things you missed, um, go ahead and send those to Rosanna. And keep in mind, this video will post in about 24 hours on michaels.com, so you can always go back and rewatch it. And if I got some parents watching, if you are gonna brag on your kids and you're gonna share their projects on social media, make sure you use the hashtag 
make it with Michaels and hashtag Crayola Crafts. We want to see what you guys make. All right, so everyone's got their swirls done. Now, before we glue in our rock, remember we've got our snail, and we've got our snail face. So let's use our marker and let's draw some eyes on our snail. Let's just draw some little circles so our snail has some eyes. And then you can also give him a smiley face. That up there so you guys can see it. So eyes and a smiley face. Use your marker for that. I'll give you a second. And don't forget that tomorrow and the rest of this week, we've got more awesome classes for you. So every day at 4 p.m. Eastern, 3 Central, I'm teaching Kids Club for Crayola. So make sure you sign up for those ahead of time. Um, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we've got three more and there's some great crafts in them. All right, so we've got our face. Let's finish this guy out. We're going to take some of our glue, and remember, we've got that curve, right? That curve is where our rock is going to sit. So we're gonna put some glue right in that curve, right there. So put some glue, then we're gonna take our rock, we're gonna put our rock right there, and we're gonna curl our snail body around that rock, and that glue is also, it's gonna dry clear, so you don't have to worry about that if it seeps out. We want to curl it around so that our snail body glues to our rock. Now, just want to make sure that your head is kind of in line as well because you still got some time to mold it. And then what we want to do, so we want to put it down on the table, hold our rock in there, and we want to swish it into place. So we're smushing it down so that we get a flat bottom so that our snail can sit on the table. So you can see how we flattened it. So all we did was smush it down on the table so that he has a flat bottom. So check it out, I'll put it on this plate so you guys can see it and hold it up so he stands up. All right, so our snail just needs some time to dry. So once he's dry, and you may wanna put him on his side to dry just in case if your rock is a little bit heavier or bigger, just lay him on his side to dry, give him a few hours. This is what he looks like when he's dry. So we got our turtle. We got our snail, and then if you're feeling really crazy, you could even make a fox. So another one to get you inspired. You can do all kinds of animals with these. So just remember, you pick those rocks, and those rocks are your face, and you use your model magic to make the head, the feet, the legs. So the possibilities are endless, and I know you guys are gonna get super creative. So I wanna see those snails. So let's hold up those snails so we can see them. Let me see, guys. All right, you guys, it's such a good, ooh, I see a pink and a blue one. That one looks super cool. Good job, everyone. Ooh, I like that brown one. All right, thumbs up to you guys. Let's give everyone, give us a clap. You guys did such a good job. All right, do we have any last minute questions, Rosanna? No, we're all good. Okay, so as a reminder, guys, if you missed any part of the video, it will be on michaels.com at some point tomorrow, so check back, and you can always watch the replay, and then I'll be back again tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Central, and we are making paper plate crafts. So make sure you go to michaels.com and click on those classes and the Kids Club ones, and you'll see all the Crayola classes for the rest of the week. Um, so make sure you sign up ahead of time and you check out that supply list so you can grab those supplies and the kiddos can craft along with me. All right, last but not least, parents, if you do share those pictures, remember to use those hashtags, make it with Michaels and hashtag Crayola Crafts. I checked those out yesterday and there were some really awesome projects. So you guys are amazing. Thumbs up, everyone.